Welcome to Community Views, Community Voices. I'm Suzanne St. John Crane, Executive Director of Create TV San Jose. And in the studio with me today is Jim Boquin, the Executive Director of Cancer Support Community. Welcome, Jim. Thanks. Thanks for being nice here. To be here. Well, you all are doing some really important work, and it certainly affects many of us. I mean, it's hard to meet people these days who aren't somehow affected by a family member, a friend, someone, or themselves with cancer. So, you know, I, I look forward to learning a little bit more about what you all do and letting the community know what's available. So, talk to us first. Just give us an overview, sort of, of the the services that are available to uh, to folks through the cancer support community. Great. Well, we provide all kinds of support: counseling, education, exercise, nutrition, for people who are going through cancer treatment, cancer survivors, and their family members and caregivers. Uh, what we do is designed to help people to manage their treatment as effectively as they can, uh, to help increase their chances of survival and reduce uh, chances of recurrence, and probably most importantly, to have the highest possible quality of life throughout their cancer experience and beyond. Right. And in terms of affordability, certainly that's a big concern for folks who are going through this. It's enough, right, to have the stress of a disease like this, but then to have expenses on top of it. So how does the cancer support community help with that? Well, it's all completely free of charge. Thanks to wow. contributions from the community, uh, we're able to uh, provide all of our services, all of our programs, always free of charge to people. We know that folks who are going through the cancer experience um, almost always are experiencing some kind of financial setback as well. Somebody's out of work, you've got costs of medical treatment, or maybe all the other kinds of ancillary um, needs that you have while you're going through uh, this crisis period in your life. So everything is always completely accessible, completely free of charge. What an incredible resource. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. And then in terms of you know, support for loved ones and for caregivers, what do you provide for those folks? Well, I think that's important. Uh, the person who is experiencing cancer um, needs support, but those who are supporting the cancer patient also need support as well. Uh, they're impacted, it's a crisis in their lives, and in order for them to be the best possible support people, we want to make sure that they're as healthy and happy as possible. So all of our services are, are available for um, the caregivers <clears throat> or the family members. And for instance, while we'll have a support group going on for people who are experiencing cancer, at the same time we'll have a support group going on for their family members, their spouses or caregivers, and we also provide uh, counseling and other forms of support for the children whose parents are going through cancer treatment. Oh, that's fantastic. What an incredible resource. And you have a few locations. I understand that uh, your Walnut Creek location has been around over 20 years, which yes, is amazing. Yes, we've been in Walnut Creek for uh, over 20 years so serving folks in the East Bay. Wow. And now at that center, we're seeing over 1,800 cancer patients and their families each year. Uh, but we've been uh, really fortunate. We are able to open up a center uh, in Mountain View uh, coming on two years. It'll be our two-year anniversary in the next uh, week or so. Uh, and we're already seeing uh, over 400 people a year at that location. And we provide uh, services and support in some other community locations at several of the medical centers and other places that might be more accessible to people who are going through cancer. Wonderful. So yeah. making it easy for folks to access the mm -hmm. services they need. Now, do you all have any upcoming programs or events you'd like to talk about? Well, I did want to mention um, we do have uh, some services and programs that are delivered in Spanish, particularly for uh, Latinos. And uh, in San Jose, for example, at Christ the King Church, we have support groups and educational programs going on there all the time. Uh, we are also uh, have a variety of community events, and in fact, uh, uh, coming up uh, this Saturday, uh, May 19th, it's Strike Out Cancer Day at AT&T Park. Oh so goodness. we'll be, it's our day at yeah. the park, and uh, we'll have cancer survivors out with the players, uh, throwing the first pitch, um, really yeah. celebrating survivorship, and, and hopefully inspiring those folks who have just maybe been newly diagnosed who are there at the game. And it's a big fundraiser for us as well. We'll have hundreds of volunteers throughout the concourses at the park uh, selling memorabilia that uh, has been given to us by uh, uh, the Giants and we hope to raise uh, a lot of funds that again helps us to deliver more services and programs. Free of charge to folks that, that certainly need it. That's yeah. fantastic. And for our viewers, you know, if you miss that event, I'm sure there's others coming up 
that you can see mm -hmm. on the website for uh, Cancer Support Community. Uh, so let's take a look at that website right now. For more information, uh, contact these folks and you can see programs, events, ways that you can help, ways that you can get involved. Jim, I want to thank you for being on the uh, program today and best of luck to you all in your endeavors. And you're, like I said, you're doing great work and we all appreciate Thanks appreciate that in the me. community, for sure. So thanks for joining us on Community Views, Community Voices. I'm Suzanne St. John Crane.